always just had a thing for um, rescuing animals, but after I had more room for others than cats, it looked like farm animals needed, was the biggest need, especially out here. We're the only farm rescue for between here and California, I think even. Yeah. The need for sanctuaries is so big because so many animals are looked at as throwaway and dispensable and people don't look at them. A lot of people don't look at them as individuals um, who have their own feelings and emotions and um, families. And they think they don't form attachments and um, they do actually. Um, I see it all the time here with animals that have lost their families and they're here or they've been in abusive situations. Um, they have strong ties to their people when they've been loved and to other animals. I think that um, they're just treated too much as commodities. Those chickens were rescued from a school um, program where a teacher had them imported from across the country where they uh, were just hatched by incubators and they were um, selling them to students and who had no background and no screening and so we rescued six of them and they're in a cage because they don't have a mother to show them what to do what a bad lesson it is for kids to learn that you know baby chicks don't need mothers they do and they hatch them they have no mothers it's not a good thing pig actually yeah. but when people buy them from the breeders they're told 25 pounds so what happens is all these people get them they think they can keep them in their apartment it's a lovely thing they grow up and it's like oh my god what am I gonna do with them so they end up in shelters people dump them just like they do cats and dogs in the country and um, so they come from all kinds of situations uh, where people just thought they could keep them in camp that um, personally parents could teach uh, respect for life in general a lot more than they do and the only, I don't know <clears throat> every parent in the world so I'm just saying that because it's what I see in our society there's not a great deal of respect for life if it's not um, you know yourself or your immediate family and I This little limpy sheep is named Legacy, and she came from the livestock auction. She had, um, we had her x-rayed, and she had a break in her, sh in her shoulder. They didn't know. She was real little when we got her. And so the vet thinks maybe hit by a car, or I don't know, maybe another animal kicked her. So everybody, the rest of her family went for me, and then we, uh, I took her. Um, it's funny that they didn't want defective products. This is Margarita, and she's um, a papered Arabian horse that is just gorgeous. But, you know, in our society, animals are, particularly horses, are really throwaway, you know. She was, she's an amazingly papered horse. She was used as a broodmare for her last six years, and then they were just going to send her to the auction. Oh, you know we were talking, which would probably mean the slaughterhouse because uh, people aren't affording to feed them right now and they just you know they don't think anything of us uh, send them to slaughter it's very sad I just don't like animals being tortured in any way shape or form I can't stand it and anything we wouldn't do to ourselves I don't think we should do to the animals it's just not right I don't think anything will change so we have respect for all living things.